So welcome again. In this uh, recording, I will be solving exercise two in the assignment sheet of uh, the stack uh, course. So you can find the link for uh, the uh, exercise in the description below, as well as links for uh, the assignment and the list of uh, the additional list of stacks exercises on my website, as well as two links for align compilers. So it's still loading. So we can run here multiple exercises related to stack to stacks. So here again we'll be using the static implementation. You can use the dynamic implementation. And I have created for you a small test case. So let's consider we have uh, so let's read the problem before we didn't check what's written here. So we need to insert of an element in a stack at position k. So write a C function that inserts an element in a stack at position k. The top element is considered at position 1. So we have a stack. It contains, for example, these three elements, and then they're asking us to insert an element at a specific position. So, for example, if they ask us to insert an element at position 1, so uh, let's say the number is 3, I should place it here. If, for example, they ask us to place it on a position 2, so it should be here. If, for example, they ask us for a position 100, obviously we don't have 100 here, so it should be at the bottom of the stack. So uh, I have created a small program here. So we have a stack and we have created an empty stack. In this stack, I have pushed the three elements 1, 7, and 2. And then I wanted to insert the number 4 at position 4. It means um, let's modify this and let's say here at position 2. So I'm placing it in the middle. And then I'm positioning, inserting posi 9 at position 1. It means at the top of the stack and then somewhere at the bottom of the stack. So in order to uh, see uh, the stack, I will write also a function print. So void print stack. It will take, uh, it will take a stack us and in order to uh, display the elements we need to loop and we need to check the top element so we will be using the top function and the top takes two parameters s and an address to an element e so uh, with each top so top returns 0 or 1 so as long as we have a top we will display the element and we need to make pop so make sure that you are always popping after checking the top. So top takes the address of a stack and then we will print of the element E. So I will print it like that. However, we'll try to make it more uh, gentle and more nice. So what I will do is like I will draw like a, like a real stack. So I will put this two symbols. I will make backslash and I will display the integer on four on five uh, uh, places. And um, this is it. Uh, maybe a print f for the closing. So it's like that. One, two, three, four, five, and then one like that. And let's put a backslash and and this is it. So just it's, it's, it's nice to see it like a real stack. So, after each of these elements, I will try to print the stack as and see what's changing in each, after each insertion. So, in order to insert, and I have an element E and a position as, so if you have followed me with the first exercise, you would know that we need a counter in order to count the number of elements that you are popping. So let's come back to uh, the, the the stack here. I will erase and let's take. I I will erase. So it's eraser, and then let's again take the same example, one seven and two, and let's try to add element 
the uh, the element three at position two. So add three at position two. So forcibly it will goes. So this is the initial state. And then the final state should go like that. So if I pop the element 2 and then push the element 3, I would lose the element 2. Let's make the problem more uh, bigger here. Let's say I have here 5, 3, 9. And I want to push the element 3 at the position 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I need to pop 9, pop 3, pop 5, pop 2 and now I can add the element 3 because later on it will have the position number 5. So what should I do with the remaining, uh, with these popped elements 9, 3, 5 and 2? I cannot just pop it, I need to save it somewhere. So what can I do? Of course I will not use an array because we don't like arrays in C not like arrays in data structures. So what we will do is that we will use an auxiliary data structure, a, th uh, a second stack. So in this stack, whenever I am popping an element, I will push it to the stack, and then I will push the second popped element, the third pop element, and then the fourth. And then I will add, I will push to the first stack the element three, and then I need to return this element to the first stack. So, uh, so it's a stack here, I just pop and top the element and push it here and top and pop, top and pop, and top and pop and I will end up with a stack insertion of an element uh, at a correct position. So in order to insert, so as we have said, we need a counter, a counter just in, uh, to, to, to count the number of uh, pops and we need a second stack, so we need stack let's call it uh, auxiliary and every time we create a stack we you should not forget to create it to um, to create an empty stack so of course since we are using uh, we're using top and pop and insertion and stuff like that we need an element for the top element so what we will do is that we will uh, using the same what we have wrote before so in the first exercise so while as long as we have a top element so here, the top takes a stack by value, and we have a pointer, so we will use a D reference and the address of E. So as long as we have a top element and the counter is less than the position that we are seeking, we will do, uh, we will count and we will uh, pop. So. And when we pop, we need to push. So we will consider that pushing in the auxiliary variable, the, the stack can hold the number of elements in the uh, stack because we are not using more elements uh, in the auxiliary stack. So if, for example, I want to remove, to pop all this element and push it here, so since this one holds, since the first stack holds all the elements, so forcibly the second stack will hold all the other elements. So we will push an address, so I will be using the address of auxiliary and I will push the element E. So what we have done here, we have removed, for example, if I have uh, here I want the fifth element, I, I have removed four elements and I have pushed it in the <coughs> auxiliary stack. So here I can push the element in the, in the uh, stack. So I will be using, so for example, if the stack is already full and I want to push an element uh, in the stack, uh, I can use if, if I can push. This, this, this is the case just for uh, where we are pushing an element at position 1 and we didn't do any pops. So it, the case where the first stack is already full and I want to push an element in E. So in this case I will not execute any of these and I will directly uh, come into the test. So if I can push the element E 
in all cases so I need to uh, return I want to the elements that are here in the auxiliary stack I need to push it back into the first stack so again I will loop over the second stack so as long as we have an element in the uh, auxiliary stack I will try to push it so I, I, I with after each top and I need to pop so we don't forget I will try to push it so I'll try to push it so if push I will try to push I will push S in S so S it's uh, uh, in push I need to use uh, an address a pointer and since S is a pointer so this is fine so I push E uh, S E so if I can push it's okay if I cannot push it means that the stack is full and I have some elements remaining in the stack so there should be a problem so either we can either just return zero to say that something is going wrong here or we can try to maybe not push the element as in E we don't know because it's it's not uh, obvious what we can do in the case where we cannot push an element so let's stick to uh, returning E so if I can push the uh, element S the element E in the stack I can do that if I cannot push the element S so forcibly I will return 0 because I cannot push it so there's something wrong in all cases at the end if everything goes well I will return 1 to say that I have successfully pushed the element at the stack so let's run uh, this I will command this one just to uh, see the first step so let's run we have element E what's happening here oh, it's already defined so we can we cannot use element E so let's say here element ins and I will push here the element insert so run okay again top S so here we have S stack pop doesn't take an address so let's print the stack before the insertion let's run it one more time so in the stack we have 172 and then I wanted to add 4 at the second position so we ended up with a stack which correctly uh, the, the insertion was correct so let's uncomment the these two instructions and see what happens if I insert none at position 1 so I have let me so we have here 1742 and then I have added the 9 at position 1 so it's correct it can work and let's now insert at position 100 so we have pushed 10 at position 100 so let's take an example where it, uh, the, the things go, goes wrong. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements in the stack. Let's go up and change the N here and put it uh, to 6. So, and then I will try to add, to insert again 10 at position, let's say 11, at position 100 and see if it works or not. Let's go into run. So look, we have... Uh, zero here and if you look well at the stack there's something that goes wrong because I couldn't uh, do it well so the uh, insertion is going wrong so you, in order to, to remedy to this you can either check first if uh, the, 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 the stack can hold one more element for example here the size is already six and I want to add one more element so it would be impossible but however since I have explained in the chapter we cannot use uh, uh, we, we can no more use the size uh, functions in the uh, stacks so if we go back to this function and we check the complexity so how you can evaluate the complexity of these of uh, this function so regarding the input 
stack what is the worst case complexity of this function so obviously the worst case complexity is where I will be pushing an element to the bottom of the stack so if I'm pushing an element at the bottom of the stack I want to check each element at the stack I want to remove each element push it in the second stack and then again uh, recheck, repush, re repop uh, all the elements from the second stack and push the elements back into the uh, first stack. So, obviously, there's one traversal in the first stack, then a second traversal in the second stack. So, it means that I am traversing two multiple the size of the stack and approximately, so it's two multiple. N, so it's n so the complexity is around the number of element in the stack so this is it for uh, this exercise so if you have any questions do not hesitate to uh, send me a message an email and do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to hit the funky bell icon to turn on notifications and thanks for watching